Hello, and welcome to Game Theory. I'm Professor Naomi Utgoff of the United States Naval Academy, and in this video, we'll learn how to use iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies to find a Nash equilibrium. In the last video, we defined Nash equilibrium and used that definition to find all of the Nash equilibria of prisoner's dilemma. However, using the definition and checking all of the strategy profiles to see whether they were Nash equilibria was a time-consuming approach. Iterated elimination is the first of two faster methods for finding Nash equilibria. In order to iteratively eliminate strictly dominated strategies, we should first define a strictly dominated strategy. A strategy SI prime strictly dominates a strategy SI if player I's payoff from SI prime is strictly greater than player I's payoff from SI for every strategy profile involving SI prime and SI. Another way to think about this idea is to say that SI prime strictly dominates SI if player I knows her payoff from SI prime is strictly greater than her payoff from SI before player I learns the other player's respective strategy choices. We say SI is a strictly dominated strategy if there is some other strategy SI prime that strictly dominates SI. Another way we could describe a strictly dominated strategy is to say that it is never best. Let's use this definition to show that confess strictly dominates silent in Prisoner's Dilemma. If player 2 is silent, player 1's payoff from confess, minus 1, is strictly greater than player 1's payoff from silent, minus 2. If player 2 confesses, player 1's payoff from confess, minus 4, is strictly greater than player 1's payoff from silent, minus 5. Regardless of player 2's strategy, Player 1's payoff from confess is strictly greater than player 1's payoff from silent. Confess strictly dominates silent, i.e. silent is a strictly dominated strategy. Now that we have defined strictly dominated strategies, we can eliminate them to find Nash equilibria. Iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies, sometimes shortened to IESDS or iterated elimination, is the process of eliminating one or more strictly dominated strategies completely from a game and repeating the process in the smaller game that remains after the strictly dominated strategies have been eliminated until no more strictly dominated strategies remain. If IESDS terminates at a unique strategy profile, i.e. one strategy remaining per player, then that strategy profile is the unique Nash equilibrium of the original game. In this case, we say the game is solvable by IESDS. No player plays a strictly dominated strategy in Nash Equilibrium. Even if a game is not fully solvable by IESDS, the fact that strictly dominated strategies do not appear in Nash Equilibria means that IESDS is still useful for reducing the total number of strategies under consideration. Sometimes there may be multiple strictly dominated strategies. The order in which they are eliminated will not change the outcome of IESDS. Here is our old friend, Prisoner's Dilemma. As we saw earlier in this video, player 1's confess strictly dominates player 1's silent. Iterated elimination tells us to eliminate the entire row starting with player 1's silent from consideration. When we eliminate silent from player 1's strategy space, we eliminate the outcomes silent silent and silent confess. I've grayed out the row on this slide, although in doing IESDS on paper it's more common to cross out the row with a single line. However, we are not done. Let's compare player 2's silent and player 2's confess. Player 2's confess strictly dominates player 2's silent. Note that we only conduct the comparison of player 2's strategies when player 1 confesses, since we already eliminated player 1's silent. IESDS leaves us with a single strategy pair, confess confess. We conclude that confess confess is a Nash equilibrium, and moreover it is the unique Nash equilibrium of Prisoner's Dilemma. We should not be surprised by these conclusions, although perhaps we should be a bit relieved. We used the definition of Nash equilibrium in the previous video to show that confess confess is the unique Nash equilibrium in Prisoner's Dilemma. Any other method of finding Nash equilibria should provide the same answer as the definition. Here is a larger game for you to practice IESDS. This game will be one of the few that does not have an economic story behind it. It is just for practice. 
For a larger game, it is often helpful to write down the order in which you eliminated strategies so that you can reconstruct your thought process more easily later or find where a mistake occurred in order to fix it. Pause the video and use IESDS to find the unique Nash equilibrium of this game. When you are done, resume the video to see a solution. B strictly dominates A. Eliminate A. F strictly dominates E. Eliminate E. Note that we could have first used F to eliminate E and then used B to eliminate A. Either order is fine. B strictly dominates C. Eliminate C. G strictly dominates F. We used F to eliminate E earlier, but that does not mean that F itself will survive iterated elimination. Eliminate F. B strictly dominates D. Eliminate D. H strictly dominates G. Eliminate G. The unique Nash equilibrium of this game is B, H. Thanks so much for watching this video about iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies. In our next video, we'll talk about another method for finding Nash equilibrium in matrix games, namely underlining best responses.